Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so stress, what a nasty, nasty word and what it can do to your body. Now, okay, so sometimes we need a little bit of stress in our life and sometimes we need a little bit of motivation, you could call it. And that is a good element of stress. And I think without some stress in our life, it wouldn't necessarily keep us on track or we may find ourselves straying away from what we actually need to do in life. But take stress too far. And you can lead yourself down a path of ill health, completely stressed out to the point where you're completely burnt out and generally not enjoying life. Now, I do speak from experience because I do suffer with bouts of stress, really bad episodes in my life where I just don't feel that I can handle everything going around me. That doesn't mean to say that you're weak. That's one thing I want to get out there. If you are struggling with how you're feeling or your mental health, that is not you being weak or that is not nothing wrong with you and what you've done. That is just almost that I like to think of it, that you have thought and your thoughts have taken you down a path and you've kind of lost your way of getting back. And now you find yourself in this stress sort of zone. But with help and with treating yourself well, you can get through episodes of stress relatively, sometimes quite quickly. Sometimes it takes a lot to work through it. And sometimes even just taking the time to talk and have a conversation heart to heart with a family member, whether that be a parent, a grandparent or a treasured friend. Sometimes taking that stress off of yourself and actually talking those things out can do a whole world of benefit for you. Stress. It's so important to take time to de-stress. So as we are of a Friday evening, that is what I want to talk about is stress. Whether that be you're studying, whether that be that you're trying for a promotion at work, whether that be that you're perhaps taking somebody else's role on at work because they've got staff sickness and perhaps you're, you're short of numbers at work and perhaps you're all sharing the workload, but you're finding that yourself and others are just taking the pressure and it's starting to slowly sink you and the team. Perhaps it's affecting morale at work and perhaps it's really, really holding you back and it's making you feel pretty damn right awful. And then perhaps you're taking that home and you're snapping at loved ones and things which you really don't mean to. These are all symptoms which actually it's a telltale sign that stress is starting to have its way with you in a really, really negative way. Now, of course, going back to how we started this clip, an element of stress can be really, really good at keeping us on track and keeping us motivated to achieve what we want to achieve in this life. A little bit of stress, I find, is always care. It shows that we care and it shows that we are who we are and we're strong people. We know what we want and we're keeping everything intact. Yeah, brilliant. But take it one step too far, obsess one too many times and spend too much time worrying about the same thing, you can start getting stressed. Now, stress can be a whole host of different reasons. It could be a bereavement. It could be that you're not coping well with the loss of somebody. That happened to me last year, and it still happens on a daily basis. I lost my grandmother, who is my world, and I struggle daily. But I talk to people about this. I talk to my mum. I talk to my dad. I actually talk to the reverend who actually took my nan's service. And these things help. And it's through that help which helps us stay healthy and helps us to enjoy, I'm going to say, good mental health. You can still be going through a bad time. And in the darkest of times, there is light. I have a clip about that, which I'm really, really proud of on my channel. That does not mean to say that there is good coming from bad things. Goodness me, no, not at all. But I mean, sometimes it really, sometimes it takes something awful to happen to us in our life to see how strong we are and what we can be and the real true self. And sometimes going through elements of stress can almost show us that actually we need to do something quite drastic in our life to turn things around or else in years to come in things, we're just going to end up being really, really unhealthy, completely stressed out and burnt out. In worst case scenarios, this affects people's work so much that they can't work anymore. They don't socialize. They don't, they're not themselves anymore. Stress can start off small and it can fester into this horrible sort of catalyst needle in a haystack type formation. And it's really, really difficult to get yourself out of that if you let yourself get there. So my first thing, if you're suffering with stress, try and de-stress, try and make time for you. It's so, so important to do the things you love as well, even in the most busiest, stressful times. If you're stressed at work and you find that it's all just too much, speak to your employer, speak to your manager, speak to somebody and reach out and actually say, and you know what, it's okay to say that I'm finding this a bit too much, I'm feeling stressed. 
Nine times out of ten, they're going to be cooperative with you and they're going to work with you, not against you. And in those small minority of cases which people don't work with you, then that is where there is downfall on the company and the person themselves because that is not right. If it's not work what's causing you stress and perhaps it's family life, then sometimes just taking a step back and working with somebody or asking a family member to actually help you have just a short amount of time for yourselves, whether that be to go and have a coffee with somebody, whether that be to have an evening, if you're a couple and you're watching this, whether that be to have an evening just by yourselves, away from all those stresses and strains in life. Now, I'm not saying children. Children are a blessing. But my goodness, if you have young children, sometimes just making time for yourself as well is mentally healthy. And you know what? Doing something you love together, I find, is always a bonus. I have nieces and nephews, and doing something you love and they love together, whether it be the most silliest, childish thing ever, it really does. It just completely takes the cloud off of you of stress. It really, really does. Now, if that doesn't work for you, find something else what really does help. It could be a hobby from a long, long time ago, from years ago. It could be a pastime you enjoyed growing up. Revisiting those things helps you deal with stress. The main thing is communicating. Don't sit in silence. Keep talking. Talk to those you love and cherish. And if not, talk to those because I find that sometimes that you can't talk to those you love and your family members because you almost don't want to put that on them. I do at times because it's the people who are there who really want to care and they want to be there and they want to love you and be there for you. So don't feel that way. But if you feel you can't, that's absolutely fine too. Talk to a friend or somebody outside. Seek the help of cognitive cognitive behavioural therapy, talking therapy, speak to your doctor, your family doctor, anybody. It's important not to stay in silence because that is just going to make things worse. If you're finding that stress can be financial burdens or if you're finding that you've got yourself just so stressed out and in a hole with money worries, then there are charities and things which are out there to help. You've only got to do a Google search and there are help out there. Talk to your bank. Your bank is not there to judge for you. I used to work in retail banking. The amount of conversations I've had with people about money worries and money troubles, it is no odds to nobody. And you know what? It does not make you no less of a person. So again, staying in silence, we come back to that communication, don't we, in every single scenario, if it's family, if it's money, if it's bereavement, if it's a whole host of different problems, perhaps it's a relationship breakdown, communication outside of that circle is really, really going to help you. So this weekend, if you are feeling stressed, my absolutely huge piece of advice to you is make time for you, whether that be stepping outside of your sort of social sort of circle at home or your family at home and actually just doing something, even if it's just for half an hour, just to think about you and enjoy your time, whether it be a drink with a friend, a coffee with somebody, or whether it be just a long chat with somebody over the phone, make time to de-stress because I promise you, if you do not, it will cascade and it will get worse. Stress is one of those things where it doesn't just go away. You can't just bury your head in the sand. You have to deal with it. It doesn't just go away. It just cascades and gets worse. And if you find that, oh, I'm feeling better one day, believe you me, it comes back and it comes back with a vengeance. And I can speak from experience of that. Burying your problems does not necessarily help at all. It may do for the short term, but for the long term, it certainly, certainly doesn't. Not whatsoever. So this weekend, as I talk to you on a Friday evening, make time for you. It's important to distress because, do you know what? One thing what a lot of people don't realise, it can be the bane of whatever else is going on in your life. If you find that your relationship is breaking down, if you find that you're having problems in your relationship, it could be that you've got yourself so stressed at work or so stressed in a different situation on money that actually it's tearing the very person you love and adore apart from you. It could be, for example, that you're finding that your health's not too great. Are you stressed? Is there a lot on your mind? Is your hair falling out? Is your hair getting thinner when you style your hair? Stress can be so much of, a, of an issue when it comes to our health. It can actually make and it can exacerbate a health problem even worse. It can make our hair thin. Do you know, I have seen people in my lifetime and I've experienced this as well, actually go through problems of hair loss and hair fall. And they're wondering what on earth is going wrong using all these top products. Step back. Have a look at your life. Are you stressed? Are you taking on too much? There's an example of this in my own home. My mum is an absolute, she is a gift from God, but she takes on way, way too much. And sometimes I'm always saying to her, make time for yourself. Go and do something you love. Go and do some shopping or go and have your hair done. Do something nice for you. Because you know what? Those short times of just switching off help us stay healthy. They help us stay mentally strong to be able to deal with a busy and hectic life. And you know what? If you've got a big family and it's usually just one person what looks after everybody, then do you know what? 
they need the time. So if you're thinking, actually, my, my mum or my aunt or my nan or my grandfather or my dad does so much and actually it's starting to take a toll on them. Do you know what? Bring it to their attention. Do you know what? Say, actually, I can see that you're having a bit of a stressful time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the load off of you because you need to go and enjoy something. OK, I really, really hope that you've enjoyed my clip. Stress is a huge topic and it's something which I could talk and talk and talk about for a lifetime. But this weekend, make time for you. Because working out stress and talking about stress and doing something you love can really, really help you stay stronger and healthier for the future to come. And it really does just take a weight off your mind, almost like someone's lifted the house off you. So make time to de-stress. OK, so thank you very much for being here. And it means the world that you're here to share this topic with me. And I do speak from experience, whether it be family members, whether it be myself. I watched my nan go through stress for years and years and years. And I only wish that I could have took that stress burden from her. I see my mum stressed, my dad with work, brothers. It's all around us. Sometimes we've all just got to work together, communicate and step back. It's not that easy, but if we start talking about it, it can help. My love and very best wishes to you always, and I will be seeing you real soon. Take care and try and de-stress this weekend. If you're watching this whenever, please listen. <laughs> Take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.